All right, so in the last video, um, we, we tried some comparison techniques between the stack or the left to right addition and long addition methods. Uh, in this video, we're going to practice a little bit with left to right addition. Just look for some, some, some patterns and, and for reasons about why this, this might make a lot of sense. So let's try um, 624 plus 258. Okay, so with left to right addition, we start at the left. That's the largest place value, the hundreds. So 600 and 200 is 800. And then we proceed to add 20 and 50, and that's 70. And then we add 4 and 8, which is 12. And then we combine these places to get 882. And we're done. Let's try a few more examples. How about 700, change color, 700, and 38 plus 377. Well, same idea, we start at the left, so we know right from the start this has to be over a thousand because we're adding 700 and 300. And next we add 30 and 70 to get another 100, and then we add 8 and 7 to get 15. And this gives us 1,115. And moving on, we try some more. What about 699? plus 299. Okay, well, um, here 600 and 200 is 800, 90 and 90 is 180, and 9 and 9 is 18. Now when we add these up, we get 998. And again, I, I think the major advantage to this approach is that when we start with the largest place value, I get an estimate. I know this is going to be above 800 and this is going to be above a thousand and this is going to be above 800 as well and that gives us a little bit more sense of our of the process we're not starting with the smallest place value right to add 8 and 4 and know that that's 12 doesn't really help us get a sense of the total value to add 8 and 7 and get 15 that doesn't help us too much either right and 9 and 9 when we start here to get 18 it doesn't tell us too much about the total value of the sum so left to right addition has some major uh, number sense and estimation advantages. Thanks.